Hey guys, welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This is Draft Day Sports College Football 2023. And I am going to be taking over the Boston College Eagles. Uh, I have literally never played this game before. Um, but we're going to give it a whirl. I've played a lot of the college basketball games, so I assume a lot of the menus and a lot of the um, kind of how-tos are the same. Um, I've messed around in it a little bit. Uh, but please, if, if there's something I miss or or something I should be doing differently, please let me know. Uh, again, with this being the first video of a Let's Play, the likes, the comments, uh, those are all going to be huge into um, determining you know other people seeing this stuff. So do me a favor, drop the video a like, leave a comment, tell me that I'm really good at this or I'm really bad at this or whatever. Uh, I appreciate it. So we're going to jump right in with the Eagles. It's March 1st, 2022. This episode, I think, is going to be just sort of an overview of the team along with a... I really don't know how far I'm going to get, honestly, because I I, I've only simmed ahead, you know, a couple of weeks here um, offline as, as I mess with the game a little bit. So we'll see. I don't really know. Um, I think... Oh, yeah, I did download um, the mods from the, the Wolverine website, which gives you the team logos and colors and, and everything else. So uh, make sure you go and do that because it's uh, um, it's uh, it's pretty awesome to give you all of the uh, all of the accurate colors and teams. And then I also well, let's see if it's here. This is where does this stuff go on? Um, is it under staff? I also downloaded the real coaches, but I changed them. So I made, I made myself Doug Flutie. And really what I did is I took every section, training, personality, scouting, and strategy, and I randomized one through 10. So like for training, there are three, six, there's 11 categories here. I randomized one through 10, 11 times. And I didn't give myself any ones or any tens. Um, so you can see, and, and then I just plugged them in where I thought it made the most sense. So development, youngsters, and obviously quarterbacks, Doug Flutie is going to be, and I know it doesn't really look like Doug Flutie, but I didn't want to spend time going through all of the uh, uh, all of the different photos. So quarterbacks, youngsters, and development is what he's best at in terms of training. He's really smart. He's a motivator. Recruiting and scouting um, are my two best skills, and then coaching offense, obviously. So that's that's me. Um, what else do we want to look at? What else do we want to look at? So I don't know. Our prestige is a 62. I don't know where that falls, uh, in, in the grand scheme of things. I have no idea. We'll just sort of see. Training, I think looks very similar to the pro football game. Um, it does. Okay. Um, let's look at our roster and we'll go position by position and that may help us figure out what we need to do in recruiting. So we've got George Streeter, who is our senior redshirt starter, 89 overall, 91 arm, 90 intelligence, 78 accuracy. We got Dennis Keenan, um, who is another senior, um, 65 strength, 73 arm, 80 accuracy. So not as strong as an arm, but more accurate. We got Salvatore August, who's Likely our quarterback of the future, 81 overall. Let's just do it like this. Uh, 82 intelligence, 77 accuracy. So the red shirt freshman running backs. David Franklin is our uh, our our go-to guy. We got Nicholas McBride and Sean Newton, a couple of youngsters that look pretty good. 88 agility. Uh, not very fast though. Our our David Franklin, 91. Yeah, so some speed in the backfield is something we may want to look for. A couple of fullbacks. Uh, offensive line, uh, it's young. Uh, we got Nor Norberto Doss, who's the worst of the bunch. Henry Peeler, Patrick Newkirk, and Robert Perrin are our three best uh, guards, and they're all freshmen or sophomores. A couple of good tackles are Nulfo Al. Uh, Acevedo and Noah Mahaffey, but they're both gone after this year, so finding a good tackle might be beneficial. Center, our best is a redshirt freshman, so we're in good shape there. Tight end is a position I love, and we got a couple of youngsters, Donald McGraw, 
uh, 62 hands, 63 hands. Um, he's pretty fast. So a couple of decent tight ends. Wide receivers, Brandon Kimmel, 90 overall, senior red shirt. And James Groves, 88 overall, red shirt senior. Not a lot of speed out of our wide receiver core. Uh, cornerbacks. A couple of, eh, they're okay, I guess. A couple of freshmen that look pretty good, 81 overall for each of them. Logan Wyatt, 80 overall, not terrible. Linebacker core is average. A lot of 70s in there. Uh, we'll likely be redshirting some of these guys. Defensive tackle, same deal, a lot of 70s. Um, Alex Nobles looks okay, though, 73. He's a senior. Yeah, not very good tackling from our defensive tackles. Defensive ends. Donald Kraft, probably our best defensive player. I like that 91 overall. We got a couple of young guys, John Flowers and Jesus Williams, that are in the 80s. Free safeties, uh, a couple of good free safeties there, both seniors, a couple of youngsters, uh, decent speed. John Sorensen looks like he's going to be pretty good. Strong safeties, uh, some pretty good numbers here. Cesar Law and Lawrence, so Lawrence Stone, redshirt freshman, looks like he's going to be a monster down the road. Uh, our punter, we got a couple of punters. Uh, we got a senior punter and a freshman punter who's actually, or a sophomore punter who's actually better. Actually, he's not. He's got a higher overall, but the kick accuracy and the kick direction isn't as good. So Benavides is better there. And then place kickers. Um, yep, Barbosa is the better option there. So that is our team. Uh, we can. I don't want to mess with the depth chart just yet. That's not necessary. Um, I don't think we can start recruiting yet we might be able to i don't know this gives us our pipeline so massachusetts new hampshire tennessee we have decent pipelines and we've got minor for maine minnesota mississippi vermont and georgia so obviously we'll take a look at massachusetts and try to bring in the best recruits from the state of massachusetts i'm going to turn off um the recruit i'm going to turn off the delegating of recruiting because that's something i want to do um we need oh we have five wide receivers it was guards that we needed we didn't have a lot of good guards i mean really we need everything right i mean that's kind of how this game works uh, we have 25 scholarships so let's look at i know guard was one of the first positions let's look at the state of massachusetts and I may be getting way ahead of myself here. I'm not entirely sure. Really, there are no guards in the state of Massachusetts. Really, that's interesting. Huh. Yeah, there's not a single guard in the state of Massachusetts or New Hampshire. Odd. Okay, what about Tennessee? Got a couple. All right. Perry Ware. I like all that stuff. Add them to our targets. Um, we don't know any of this stuff yet. Um, I want to kind of get this information first. Um, three star, that's fine. Uh, running back. Let's look at running backs in the state of Massachusetts. There's a one. Larry Bradshaw, a two star. Two star running back out of the state of Massachusetts. Let's get the state of New Hampshire. Not a single running back in the state of New Hampshire. What about Tennessee? We got a three-star Mark DuBose. We'll add him to our targets as well. I 
I don't want to do any of this yet because I don't know what he's interested in. So once we find out what he's interested in, we can take a look. So, um, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to um, find a bunch of players to kind of start scouting. And then we will advance through training camp. So I will be back in just a minute. All right, we're back. Um, and you can see I have 35 players now that I have listed as uh, targets. And they're all from the states we have minor pipelines to. So Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Tennessee. Um, we'll kind of go outside of that. But I figure, and again, I don't really know how it works. So we'll just sort of play it by ear. But I figure the states that we have pipelines to will generate more interest. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Training, I'm going to leave as is for now. Uh, I'm not going to tweak the training all that much. I'm just going to leave defaults. Sorry, I'm moving around a lot in my chair. It's really squeaky. Uh, I'm going to leave um, the, the training schedule. Um, um, oh, maybe. Do I want to? Let's spend some time with Salvatore August. See if we can get a um, um, get some uh, uh, some improvement out of him. We'll auto the offensive and defensive coach. We can change some of this stuff, um, but I can't get into that level of micromanaging just yet. I just kind of want to see how the game works. So year one may be a bit of a cluster for us, but we will see. So I'm going to go ahead and advance to training camp. And we'll see what we get for improvements. So Cornelius Britton is our best improve or our most improved player. A couple of seniors that get better, which I guess is good. Um, did we get no improvement out of the uh, the quarterback that we focused on? Looks like we may not have. All right, so we got to set red shirts. Um, oh, look at that. It's interesting. Cool. Uh, let's go to the dashboard. Oh, I got an, an email. I think that's my red shirt reminder, probably. Oh, it's my training camp report. All right. B Vigil has been a huge disappointment. That's not great. <clears throat> um, recruiting. go here actions all right 5k scouting home visit it costs five outreach hours invite to a game attend a high school game scholarship offer recruiting spend okay so it's up there all right So let's put some money into here. Let's interview. Let's attend one of his high school games. I wonder if this is going to... Um, let's go to summary. I want to see. Okay, so right now nobody has any interest. So we might be too early. I don't know. Um, but we need a running back. Uh, guards. Let's invest some time in here. Oops, that's a lot. I don't know if this is the right way to do this. I really have no idea. Um, we will, well, yeah, I think, let's set our red shirts. There's gotta be, like, I don't, I haven't been able to find, like, a schedule, like, that talks about, like, you know, when the actual scouting season starts or anything like that, like you get with some of the other games. So let's go position by position. Anybody we want a red shirt. I think we need the four quarterbacks. 
or maybe we redshirt him. Yeah, let's redshirt him. Running backs. We can redshirt Joshua Swan. Guards. Let's redshirt Marcus Gallagher. We'll go with the six tackles. There, we've got four tight ends. One of them is a freshman red shirt. Let's red shirt Leo Gomez. Go through and red shirt all these players real quick. Arnold Montoya, we can red shirt. Um, and Dwayne Mullen, I think. So we have a lot of wide receivers on our team. Hood. <clears throat> and again, I don't know how much of this is like the right thing to do, but uh, we're going to redshirt Vigil because the scouting or the uh, coaching staff wasn't pleased with him. Claude Wilson, we can redshirt him. I'm sure I'm going to need to go in and um, I'm going to need to go in and cut some of these players realistically, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Those guys, keep all those guys, those guys, and keep those guys. All right, let's advance. There's got to be, okay, so we're already into the regular season. Okay, so that's interesting. Um, so we have four outreach hours, $217,000 in... Um, recruiting. So what happens if I do this? Okay, so it invests. Hmm. So I'm going to have to go through and I'm going to have to invest all of this time into uh <clears throat> I don't want to do it all now though like that this is the part I don't I, I I one of the things like I'm just gonna sort of have to learn here like I don't want to I don't think I need to dump all two hundred and seventeen thousand dollars into into these players right now um I don't have any information for any of this yet so I don't know like when. I assume it's going to be like the basketball game that gives you, you know, these like these outreach hours and stuff will will reset every week. I'm assuming. So, let's put a little bit of money into recruiting and scouting all of the quarterbacks. Put a little bit of money into recruiting there. I love a good tight end, so let's put a little bit in here. We need some wide receivers for sure, so let's dump some money into recruiting there as well as scouting. <clears throat> Or might be a good target. Three star, number 428 overall. We'll put a little bit into Stratton, but I don't know that we're going to have, that we're going to be able to land the big time, um, the big time recruits just yet. I don't know. Yeah, and again, I don't want to put all of my money in here yet because I don't know if I get it back. So <laughs> we'll, we'll put a little bit into some of these positions. And then you guys can tell me what I'm doing wrong because I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. But we'll learn through the first season. All right, so that's good. So we've invested a lot of money. Um, so we are into, if we look at our schedule. All right, so we got North Texas this week. Is it this week? It doesn't tell us what the date is. Um... 
preferred opponent. So who is, it's UMass, right? Yeah. Are they listed as U or Mass? Yep, UMass. Preferred opponent number two. Um, who's another? There really aren't any other teams in New England. Rutgers, maybe? I mean, they're not really New England, but Boston College and Rutgers. And who's a third good team that we can... All the other teams in New England are FCS schools. So you got to get into New York or New Jersey before you get another um, D1 school. So let's go Buffalo. I want the Minutemen at home. All right. So I think we start with the depth chart. We just allow... The, um, yeah, I think we just allow our, our coaching staff to set the offense and defense, and then we'll kind of see, nope, we'll see how it looks. Is there anything here that's completely, yeah, like it's got Haram Binder as my middle linebacker. That's because I, I set myself in a 3-4. I like the 3-4 better. So let's make Matthew Melendez. No, Aldolfo Boyd. Kraft, Robbins, Boyd, and Lawrence Stone. Lawrence Stone. Strong safety. Look real quick. Red shirt freshman. Does this have the mentor thing? Like, no, it doesn't. I thought maybe it would have the mentor thing like uh, the pro game does. Lawrence Stone, 73 tackling, 71 strength. Can he play line? I mean, we'll give it a whirl. See if the 18, if he's 198 pounds, he's not going to be able to play strong safety or he's not going to be able to play linebacker. Don't be ridiculous. Um, he's not going to be able to play linebacker. Uh, Melendez, yeah, we'll go Melendez, I guess. And Worsham. Yep. All right. Uh, strategies. It's thinking about it. There we go, finally. All right. Um, run first. Yeah, the lower the number is is more towards the running game. So we'll pass the ball a little bit more. I'm fine with that. Um, focus run. Yeah, these are all things that I set up earlier. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, for, for the first couple games, I don't want to change a whole lot. I just kind of want to see how the game plays out and then we can make changes as we go because I don't know a ton about the game like I said this first year is going to be kind of a feeling out process I don't know if there's anything else I need to do. I put a lot. Oh, we can can we we can change positions for some of the players. That's it. No, we can't change. I think this will automatically fill. And this is something I should have looked at. It'll automatically fill in a quarterback, I believe. 
Um, depth strategy training. I guess we just sim, and we'll just sort of see what happens. So yeah, year one is going to be sort of a um, a uh, a test. Not really a test, but sort of a you know we may end up being really really bad. Recruiting season, we're ranked around five hundred. Total twenty five scholarships. All right. The board realizes that recruits around 500 are probably our ceiling. Okay, that's fine. All right. So let's go ahead and sim the game. And we lose 38 to 21. We got down 17 nothing in the first half. We had a pick six. A touchdown pass from Streeter to Kimmel. Franklin has a decent game, 18 carries, 98 yards. Kimmel, 5 for 101. Did we turn the ball over at all? No, I don't think we did. Fonseca had a really good game, 24 of 36. All right, then we lose game one. Let's go ahead and sim the week and see what happens at the end of the first week. See if we get any information regarding recruiting or anything. So this is all the same as the pro game. It gives you player performances. It gives you updated scouting reports, updated training reports. If we look at recruiting now, okay, so it, we have some interest, so that's good. So let's offer to the guys who are warm. Let's spend some money on them. We have some outreach hours, so let's attend a high school game. Let's interview him. It's 5K scouting. Okay, that's fine. Outreach hour. He's got no interest in us. Okay. Uh, are there any other running backs? No. Okay, so we need to find some running backs. Uh, all. Let's do all running back. And let's find... Are there any running backs in the state of Tennessee, or was it just that one? It was just that one. And then there weren't any in Massachusetts. Oh, there is one now. Okay, so let's target Larry Bradshaw. And there's none in New Hampshire. Okay, so what were our other? Maine, Minnesota, Mississippi, Vermont, and Georgia. Okay, Georgia should have some decent recruits, I would think. Yep. Uh, all right, so let's... He said 500 was probably our cap. So let's look at these three-star guys that are all... Uh, from the state of Georgia. Let's go to targets. Let's go to actions. Let's put some money into these guys. Let's do some recruiting. All right. Um, we need to offer some... some uh, oops. Uh, let's go here and here not my commits let's go what am I doing uh, targets that's where I wanted to go actions all this is what I wanted to do all right so we got Terrence Williams offer a scholarship let's offer a scholarship this is somebody that we might want to make a run at so we'll we need guards. That was something that we needed. Let's offer scholarship there. Let's offer a scholarship there. Tackle there. Zachary Jennings. We can offer him a, 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 a scholarship. Offer him a scholarship. hours left okay that's fine 
Uh, and then we need some running backs. So James Free doesn't have a scholarship offer, so we'll offer him. Shane Hernandez has got five. We'll offer him. Offer these guys who don't have any. That might give us a heads up. It might give us a, uh, a leg up. I don't really know. I don't really know. We're just going to sort of find out here. All right. So let's see. Let's look at scouted. Perry Ware. I don't have any more hours to spend this uh, This. Oh, can I only put a max of five in? Looks like I can only maybe do a max of five or a max of four in some places, it looks like. But I think the ones that have warm... I don't have any idea if this is the right way to be doing this, but I feel like if they are interested in us, that we should be offering them, that we should be we should be focusing on them and trying to land them. I think. I have no idea if that's correct, but that's the way I'm looking at it. All right. So we will see how this goes. We got another week here. We're taking on Colorado here in game two. Game two, week two, I guess. Let's go ahead and sim the game. And we win, 30-17. to 17. All right, Streeter with a nice game. Kimmel has two touchdown catches. Groves has a touchdown run. And we defeat Colorado, 30-17. to 17. Streeter, 18 of 28, 204 yards, three touchdowns. Franklin has a decent game. Kimmel having a really solid start to the season. Hutchinson, four passes defended. No sacks. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six penalties. All right, so we win game two. Let's go ahead and sim through the week. All right, so let's delete. We are now in week three. Right, we're in week three now. Let's go to recruiting. Let's look at the actions. All right, so we got Wallen, Reynolds, and Warner are all hot. So let's invite to a game, invite to a game, invite to a game. Wallen, we can interview... Eight outreach hours left. We'll put four there, one there, so we have three left. So let's bring Harley Reynolds. Ooh, Anthony Stratton is a three-star fullback, three-star tight end. Who's the highest-rated player that's got some interest in us? It looks like it is Mike Ross. So let's put some more money into Mr. Ross. Interview. Oh, okay, so we get scouting uh, money every single week. That's how this works. Okay. So we have three outreach hours. Let's invite him to a game. Okay, so we should now be able to... If we click on these guys, we should have some... In, it doesn't... Interview player to unlock the personality. Um... Playing time. Mike 
Michael Warner. Here we go. All right. So high work ethic, values the market size, um, values prestige, values security, loyalty, winning, playing time. So playing time is not a big deal to him. So let's put a point there. I don't know what that green dot means. Someone tell me what that green dot means. Values winning. So I think we leave it like that. All right. Harley Reynolds. Okay, we have all his information. Uh, playing time, location, obviously we should put money in, or money, we should put, uh, actually playing time, organization. Let's drop this to one and let's bump this to two. I don't know what those, those mean, so I guess someone will have to tell me. David Reed, fullback, Ronald Outlaw. interview him Harry where we interviewed he doesn't care about any of that he values prestige doesn't care about it being close to home so let's put it into and he doesn't care about playing time at all so let's put it into prestige Organization, let's put another point into organization and a point into winning. Let's put another, let's put a point into academics. So we can still interview a bunch of players here. Uh, so let's, let's interview Let's go position by position. Interview all the quarterbacks. Why not? Actually, let's not interview him because he's not interested in us. Let's put some of the money into here. Recruiting, recruiting. Here and here. And we'll go position by position again. Mark DuBose is not interested in us, so we can... I think start to remove some stuff from there. Let's see. Oh, he doesn't have any interest in us either. So let's only pay attention to the players who have interest in us. Uh, so it's going to be free. Hancock. Now let's see if we can get some information on all these guys. We're going to need depth. Tight ends. I love a good tight end. I really do. Um, this guy's warm. Ronald Outlaw. We don't have any scout, real scouting information on him yet. Wide receivers, none of them are interested in us. We may need to look into some wide receivers here down the stretch. A couple of tackles. Let's invest some money into scouting and development. I may be, like, I may be stretching myself thin here, right? Like, I might be, um, I might be spreading out the focus rather than honing in on a handful of people. Mike Ross. Linebackers. Cornelius Davis. Let's put some more recruiting into there. Let's put some into scouting. him we need to bring in a um, strong safety free safety we can bring him in yeah I don't again I don't know if this is the right way to do this but we will see all right how long have I been going for I've been going for almost an hour so we're probably gonna do one more week and then we will call this episode one and I don't want to get too far into this because if I'm making mistakes I want to be able to change them so let's go ahead and sim week three 
get any notifications. All right, so we got seven messages. That's good. He was excited to attend our 30 to 17 win. He was excited and he was excited. All right, well, that's good. And he was excited. We got six bonus points for him. Awesome. Players are committed to other schools. All three of the wide receivers. Okay. So I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this video here. So when we come back, yeah, we get, a, it looks like we get 100K in scouting every week or thereabouts. We got a bunch of hours. So we're going to have to pay attention to, let's look, let's just really quickly look at the actions again and see, oh yeah, we got a lot of hot interest now. So um, we're going to want to lean on these guys. Uh, we got some warm from some top 1,000 recruits. Maybe do a little bit more digging and see if we can pick up some recruits in that 500 to 800 range. Um, that's sort of the plan, I think. So, yeah, guys, let me know um, if there's stuff I'm doing wrong. Yeah, like I said, this is the first time I've played this game, so I don't know exactly how this works. Please let me know. Um, and let me know if you want to see more of this. I'd be happy to do a couple of videos of this a week. If I can do, you know, 30-minute videos rather than doing an hour long, I can do a couple a week probably. So let me know your thoughts, guys. I appreciate you watching. Uh, and again, click that like button, subscribe, leave a comment with this being the first video, and I'll talk to everybody soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.